you are acting as if I'm some kind of hostile interviewer, which I'm really not. I want to get to the bottom of what you think, but I'm trying to put the, the mainstream, ordinary, uninformed person's perspective to you, which is where I'm coming from, right? To try and unpack some of these arguments. So yes, the normal person is, and I, I went to the, the pro-Palestine protests here in London several times and talk to people, and that's what they all say, you know, what we're horrified about what we're seeing. But you also have to be able to see that any country, any country, you say any country that's treated like Gaza and the West Bank would react in this way. Okay, let's accept that. But I put it to you that any country that was attacked the way Israel was attacked would also react in this way, right? So if I'm an ordinary person, I'm kind of, I don't know what to think about these two things. Is that a fair argument? No. Tell me why. Because again, uh, you are talking about like if that happened to us on October 7th and you forget, you forget the atrocities that have been happening that led to October 7th. And I don't. I, think, I don't forget. Okay. So the thing, the thing is, it's, it's, you're really putting me in that same position. How can we react? It's like, what, look at what have you done before October 7th. Mm -hmm. And let's say, for example, you reacted badly. How long can Israel go in? And then we go in into the position of like, what's a proportionate response? I, we've been asking what's a proportionate response since the death toll in Gaza with 3,000. Now it's 33,000. Mm -hmm. The thing is, there's no number that's enough. If, if we, this could go on for a year and you'll have 300,000 Palestinians killed and the world was still asking, but what would have Israel done? Because we well, don't ask these questions when, when, when the- But when the, the question still things. has to be asked because whatever the background, whatever happened before, the question still has to yeah. be asked what Israel should have done. Exactly what they have done. That's what they should have done. Yeah, yeah. Let's let, let's continue. Kill Gaza, kill the people, and then you, you, after they're you, done, let's go to the West yeah, Bank but you're being and sarcastic. kill three hundred thousand. Yes. You, yeah, but because it's. I'm sorry because if this is the kind of conversation, like what what Israel that have done? They have. Remember when when Israel was saying like, oh, it's not us that that bombed the Al Ahly Hospital. It is the Hamas. Yeah. Since then, they 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 bombed thirty six hospitals. Does that is that okay? Hold on. You you're acting as if I'm justifying anything. No, I'm not. The, 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 I'm the, question, the question is is very weird. What could Israel have done as, not, if, not what as if there has no other choice? No, 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 what could. What, what October 7th has happened, mm -hmm. right? We, It's happened. What should Israel have done in your opinion? That's what, oh, that's all I'm asking. Not this. N okay, but not this, okay. What should they have done? Not this. That's a negative. I'm asking what, in the positive sense, what they should have done. H how should they have reacted? My answer didn't change. Not this. But that isn't. They are murderers, and they are violating international law. They are or they are internet. They are violating every single uh, international piece of law, UN resolutions. And then you're asking me what else should they have done? I don't understand the question. No, no, no. I'm not asking what else they should have done. Mm. I'm saying if a country is attacked in this way, how should it react? Maybe they stop doing what the other what other people to do, so they will not be attacked in this way. Okay. So you think that. The Prime Minister of Israel, in the situation he's in, when X number of, of his own civilians have been slaughtered, is in a position to say, okay, we'll just you know, stop doing whatever we're doing. We're not going to respond in any way. Mm. You think that you should do that? No, no, no. Let's let, let, let him continue killing. I mean, I, I, you're ask, your answer, your, your question is like, it's like you're going in and you are nuking a whole country because you've been attacked. Like, what else would I do? But hold on. What else? But, th but this is, I mean, look at history. Like, would you say that um, what the Allies did in Germany in World oh, War II. the Dresden conversation. And it's not yeah. the Dresden conversation. Yeah. We dropped 50 Hiroshima's a month on Germany for yes, a year and yes. a half. Yes, yes, and that's good. Who said it's good? It's, it's, it, this is the thing. It's like, this is because this is the same talking points of Israel. Look what the, the Allies did in Dresden. What did they, they, they It's just the fact that like something horrific that happened in the past does not justify no, what no, you're doing in the future. No, now. I'm not saying that something horrific happened in the past justifies what we're doing in the future. And by the way, I'm surprised about the way this conversation is going because when before we started, you were like, I'm a big fan of you guys. And I really am keen to have because an honest conversation. Because the question is very inf infuriating. The question right. when you ask people, if you're in Israel position, what you should have done? Yeah. Again, you are asking me to qual quantify the reaction of the atrocity that's been happening all through. And what else do you know? Like if, 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 if your only choice is killing children and killing unarmed civilians, and this is, show me one war, one war where 80% of a place were destroyed, 50% of the victims were children and 100% of the population were displaced. And then you tell me you don't have any other choice? I, I didn't say any of those things. 
all I'm saying to you is there is a reality of where we are, right? And whether you like it or not, whether I like it or not, I don't like it, you don't like it, right? But it's not going to get solved by pretending that Israel is in a position. Of... And how could it be solved? I have no idea, that's why I'm asking you. Okay, good. But you say not like this and you don't give a positive Well, I have reason. no idea either. But what is happening, Israel is okay. a rogue. But that's a fair answer. Israel is a criminal, is a war criminal. Okay. And has been getting away with murder Fine. and genocide for years. And the international community and international uh, uh, world is, not, is letting it get away with murder and genocide every single day. And then we are left with, sorry to say, a, a useless question of like, what's the proportionate response? What else can I do if it's your country? What not, you have done? Not, I that, didn't that, ask, that, but no, you ask what if you were Netanyahu, yeah, what would you have done? Yeah. And I would tell you, that's if I was Netanyahu question. and the whole world is letting me do whatever I, I want, I didn't say do if it. you're Netanyahu. I said if you're the prime minister of Israel. I wouldn't have done the stuff that have led my to my sense to, is you're 7th. a very different person to Benjamin Well, Netanyahu. if I am the prime minister of Israel, I wouldn't have done the stuff that would have led to October 7th. I, I totally accept that. But my If question... you were the president of the United States, if you were Tony Blair, if yeah. you were in the Moody, would you go to invade Iraq because... because Absolutely of... not. I was exactly. on the streets protesting against that. Exactly. Exactly. And exactly. Against, I didn't support the war in Afghanistan. Exactly. I didn't support, support the war in Iraq. But 9-11... If you were in America, how could you not invade Iraq? Because I had nothing that to do exactly, with 9-11. That is exactly, that's exactly, that's exactly the answer of your question. Yes, except Hamas, which controls Gaza, had everything to do with October 7th. And what about the killings happening in the West Bank as we speak? Completely wrong. Mm -hmm. so, so why is he doing I, it? I think the reason we're having this conversation this way is you think... I'm arguing with you. No, I'm, I'm really not. My answer is not directed to you. It's directed to the narrative. But I, you're speaking to me. So let's speak to me, right? Okay. So your answer, I take it, if, and correct me if I'm wrong, to my question of what's the positive way forward is you don't know because it's an it's, it's impossible situation. Because no, I, I, Other than Israel should stop what it's no, doing. No, because it's useless. I have to say it's useless. useless. Because I have, I have lost hope. Mm. That's a good answer. Let's yes. talk about I have that. Lost, I have lost Let's hope talk about that. because you have a country that's getting away with killing children on camera in front of everybody. And everybody's like, mm, too bad. I don't think anyone's like that. Really? Yeah. Have you watched Kirby, the spokesman of the, of the White House? We say like, that we've seen Israel killing people. It's like, well, they're investigating. Kirby, it doesn't speak to me.